take a look at the weather now. And Tom, we've got another major rain event on the way. Jeremy, that could be the last we see of the sun for a few days as heavy rain returns. And the setup is nearly identical to last week's rain event. A pool of cold polar air is sitting over the inland and that will cause warmer air over the Tasman Sea to rise. That will lower the surface pressure and lead to the formation of another offshore low. Now, the heaviest rain tomorrow should be around the Illawarra district, followed by further widespread rain Friday and Saturday along the southern and central coast and ranges. Over four days, parts of the coast can expect in excess of 100 millimetres, with pockets even closer to about 300 millimetres. That's triggered a flood watch from the Hawkesbury to Maruya, including the risk of moderate flooding around the Sydney region. A severe weather warning for flash flooding is also in force for tomorrow. That's mostly around the Illawarra. And the rain continues one of Sydney's wettest starts to a year on record. Now, our total at Observatory Hill already exceeds 1,000 millimetres. That's edging close to the annual average less than halfway through the year. Although for now, we are still well below the record wet 2022. Sydney was mostly cloudy today with light showers over the southern suburbs. The city reached 19. That was too above the average. However, after a cooler start, overcast skies kept Campbelltown to just 14, and that was four below. On the radar, thankfully, showers around Sydney are still mostly to the south, meaning it's looking dry for now at Olympic Park for State of Origin 1. Statewide minimums were cold in the north, negative four degrees at Glen Innes. Today's maximums were very low over parts of the west. Canamble only managed a high of 10. And that was due to abundant cloud cover and light rain. Now, that cloud is gradually thickening over the state as our Tasman low develops offshore, and that low will head towards the coast tomorrow. Now, around the country, rain ahead for Canberra, heavy rain and severe storms in Perth. For the northeast, mostly sunny tomorrow for the northern rivers. There's a medium chance of showers for remaining regions and a slight risk of a storm along the mid north coast. For the southeast, widespread rain tomorrow, heavy falls around the Illawarra and adjacent parts of the south coast, along with the southern and central tablelands. Also, the risk of severe storms for the Illawarra with dangerous flash flooding. To the west, showers are likely across the central west slopes and plains and the adjacent regions. It should be a mostly dry day elsewhere. On the water, strong winds for the southern coast and seas climbing up to two and a half metres. Now for Sydney, cloudy with a high chance of rain. We could see anything from 20 to about 50 millimetres. Light winds in a temperature range of 12 to 18 for the city. Highs reaching 17 for most other suburbs. The sun will rise at 6.53 and ahead. Showers and the risk of a storm on Friday, 18 to 19. Those showers will ease back to just a shower or two Saturday, 20. Then partly cloudy but dry for Sunday and also public holiday Monday, Jeremy. Tom, thank you. Here's Sarah Ferguson for you now, standing by with 7.30.